Bucky and I had infiltrated a Hydra base in Norway. Rumor was that the Red Skull had some kind of doomsday weapon there. But what we found was beyond anything we'd ever seen. The Skull had a machine similar to yours, and he was pulling monsters through it into our world. He was enslaving them, putting collars on the creatures. He was creating an army to take over the world. And if Bucky and I hadn't stopped him. But you did, Captain. And from your tale, it would seem that this Red Skull did indeed open a portal to the Asgardian realms. The creatures you describe, they are familiar to me. Hang on, I've got satellite images coming in on the Hydra base. Jarvis, trace the energy coming from that location. This spot, this is what I was talking about. This is a point where two planes are overlapping, like a dimensional fault line. Fancy. So what are we looking at? Ley lines. Veins of magic that run through our world, connecting it to others. Or, as Iron Man would say, paths of other dimensional energy that reveal weak spots between the dimensions. In this case, there are eight, not counting Earth. One for each realm. It is said the nine realms are interconnected by Idrisil, the Tree of Life. Big tree. Call it whatever you want. This is how we're going to get you home. Alert. Dimensional energy flares in progress. Something's affecting the energy at each of the locations, except one that's in an active volcano. Thor, wait. Nay, if the threat we face is Asgardian, I will not allow it to put Midgard in jeopardy again. Well, we mortals certainly appreciate that, but you're on a team, remember? Seven locations, seven Avengers. Whatever's going on, we'll deal with it together. Anything, call it in. Avengers assemble. Well, actually, Avengers disassemble. Watch this episode of The Avengers Earth's Mightiest Heroes on Disney XD.